Hey, welcome to Early Access Control Alpha Beta and Abandoned. And what I'm doing right now, um, I'm going to make a quick video for you guys, just show you um, how I kind of go about uh, looking and investigating at a game and determining whether or not it is um, being abandoned or if it's still being worked on. And then what I kind of do with uh, the information and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm also going to mention a giveaway at the end of the video. So um, yeah, please stick with me. <laughs> it won't be a long video. So when I make, um, when I'm, digging around early access I kind of when I started I needed to start somewhere and so these tags kind of narrow it down more into a genre than anything um, but it doesn't really help you um, that much when you just pick a genre because you want to pick a, an area to start well at least I did that was gonna have a lot of titles to kind of comb through and so I thought oh, okay maybe the MMO uh, section would be a lot and uh, it has 10 pages of, of titles that are, are there to go through but I was like oh that's not really that much so I had to narrow it down by these other filtering options that are no means uh, really great to kind of find the title or the product that you're actually interested in so I just kind of um, chose multiplayer. I figured it was the one that's going to affect the most amount of people um, because a lot of games get um, classified or they classify themselves as um, multiplayer because they have the intention of having multiplayer or maybe they once did, and but when they become abandoned, they kind of cancel their servers or get rid of them or tech starts, stops working or... Yeah, they never made it to multiplayer because they quit before they tried or, you know, all those kind of things. But yeah, the, these games are still labeled as multiplayer. So lo and behold, I had 34 pages of results to go through and it's a slow going process. I think I'm on page 31 right now. Um, it's completely fine by me. Um, the slow duration, it's kind of methodical. You go through a game, you kind of investigate it, you read a little bit about it, you you find out who the dev is, you um, you kind of determine where what they're doing if you can and then you get some community uh, responses and you kind of get uh, a feel for um, if the community is happy or sad or or what they're kind of looking at and all these titles and uh, I kind of enjoy that process so I'm okay with it being a little bit slow and um, you know I don't I don't intend to kind of burn through um, all these pages just to get a, a full list of stuff um, done I actually enjoy kind of like um, filtering through these so with that said I kind of um just randomly, um, well, not randomly, I kind of move up the list. I think I'm on um, Martial Law um, or Shark Attack next. Um, so I kind of click into them. I'll click into Martial Law and I'll just kind of find out who the dev is. I'll view the ups, update history. I'll check into, you know, the, yeah, this one was abandoned a while ago. Um, I'll check the website to see if it's working um, and I'll email the developer if I can and I'll do all these kind of things. Um, clearly there's probably just a Facebook page. Um, and we'll, yeah, we go from there. We kind of check out if the developer is actually posting any other games and um, yeah. So let's not talk too much about uh, that. I'll show you what I do with um, the information. So when I get the, the, a title, I post it here. I link it to the Steam so I can remember and jog my, uh, Law has been my memory. If I have to, whether it was declared due to civil unrest or oh, threats of sorry, foreign invasion or because of pause that. Um, yeah, so you can see, I just I find it when who who's made it, um, and then when it launched, and then the green titles are actually still active, the red ones aren't. So you can get a kind of idea of like uh, I get a, a price point, and I've got um, the information of like what I could what I could determine um, there are stuff that I have um, still about the developers that I haven't posted um, you you can gather quite a bit of information and some of it becomes rather personal because people tend to divulge what's happened in their real life when a development stops I mean it's unfortunate so you don't really mention too much about that other than it being abandoned if it's a bad case right so you gotta get you gotta use your discretion and and you know not defame um a, a developer unless you know it's kind of required <laughs> unless they're scamming you right so with that said um i yeah i take these informations i post on the developer contact i actually posted a lot of other places but i uh, as i get responses i kind of populate this little list and uh you know it keeps me updated on if i actually did establish contact with them and then i give you a little bit of rundown on what um what they've been doing with their time and um where their money's going and uh how what the price point is and I've got a few ideas for when I get this all populated and it's re really going to help out the Steam community. So I'm pretty happy about that. 
So, um, yeah, I mentioned a giveaway. I'm just, I, I wanted to do this so you guys could kind of show, I could show you guys kind of what I'm doing when I'm working on behind the scenes instead of just posting these little, these little videos. I enjoy making the little five minute videos about games that are, um, you know, abandoned or games that are actually still in development. And there are quite a few games that I really want to cover. Um, I just covered interstellar uh, Marines that I actually want to show people that they're still worth purchasing. They're still actually in good quality and, uh, the developers are still actively working on. So along with those titles, I really want to, um, you know, make some positive videos, but you can only only so much time in the day. And um, yeah, for a giveaway, I know I've, I've only grown to 40 subs. I think it might be at 41 now. And I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy. It's only been a couple months and I'm, I, I'm getting slow, um, slow growth, which is, which is okay by me. I don't want to be a YouTube superstar, but I definitely want to make it to a thousand subs if I could eventually. And um and what I'm going to do at uh, 50 subs, I'm going to actually give away a, um, a Steam Early Access title of one of the games that's actually still being in d developed, obviously. And um, I'm going to uh, do the same at 100 and I'm going to, you know, keep doing uh, giveaways right through like that so I can kind of bring attention to games that actually are still being developed and still worth playing and um, hopefully bring a new community member into a title that um, is actually deserving of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Really hope that you find the content that I'm making, um, helpful in your early access, early access, uh, you know, purchases and, and community supporting. And, um, if it does, uh, please like, and subscribe and share and, uh, I'm on to the next title and we'll get through all these, uh, one way or another. Thanks. Bye.